Good evening, people. Welcome to Drugs Milan Unboxing. Felicidad, I believe that's the Spanish word for congratulations. So, Felicidad, Andy Ruiz Jr. Wow, what a win in Madison Square Garden. A real Cinderella story, life stuff that you causes a massive upset. Probably one of the big upsets in heavyweight boxing history. New heavyweight champion of the world, Andy Ruiz. And uh, he proved all of us wrong, you know, especially me. I, I was a bold to predict a one round blowout for Anthony Joshua, and he proved me wrong. I spent most of the day you know, not wiping the, the normal egg off my face, sort of uh, wiping a whole ostrich egg omelette with extra cheese off my face. But uh, my apologies and felicidad, Andy, Andy Ruiz. What a victory! And uh, that's what makes boxing the greatest sport in the world. You never, obviously never really knows. And he proved all of us wrong. Uh, in the third round, uh, Joshua nailed him with an uppercut, left hook. He went down and I thought that would be it. And he fought back, put Joshua da down twice and uh, repeated the trick in the seventh round to score this historic stoppage. And uh, congratulations to Andy Ruiz Jr. Is it the biggest upset in boxing history, uh, the same as uh, Douglas against Tyson? Lee Groves from Ring did that post today on Facebook. I don't, I don't think it's quite on the level of Tyson against Douglas, uh, because Tyson was a beast. He was, un, un, he was, we have seen as almost unbeatable at the time. Whereas Joshua always had his vulnerabilities. We just didn't think that Andy Ruiz could be the guy to exploit that. And he fought brilliantly. Uh, I think what surprised Joshua and a lot of us as well was the hand speed that he had on the inside. I didn't think he would have the feet to close the gap so well as he did, but he proved us wrong. And there we have it, a massive upset. Uh, what, what now? Um, I think if we can take one lesson away from this, this is to all the promoters out there that like to mock us hardcore fans by keeping uh, people like like uh, uh, Joshua and Wilder on a separate track to build this big fight. Now they may still fight uh, Joshua and Wilder. There's a rematch clause of Andy Ruiz. They might go to the rematch immediately or not. And they might still have a fight, but some of the luster of it is knocked off it now. Almost like uh, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, it, it marinated too long. So the lesson from this is you never know, especially in heavyweight boxing, when the fights are re relevant, make the fights. Stop this marinating. So, wow, what a fight from Andy Ruiz. He, he upset it. Andy Ruiz, the first uh, heavyweight champion of the world of Mexican descent. Uh, can't, can't say enough. Uh, congratulations to him. We take our hats off to him. Callum Smith returned. He did what we thought he would do. Spectacular knockout over Hassan and Daman Jikam. And then uh, I didn't get to see this fight over here in South Africa. Couldn't find a feed. And Katie Taylor, Delphine Pershuen, they had apparently a war. A lot of people thought uh, uh, Pershuen was robbed. Some thought it was a legit close fight. As I said, I, could, I haven't yet been able to see that fight. Uh, so congratulations to both Katie Taylor and Delphine Pershuen. But the weekend clearly belongs to Andy Ruiz Jr. I think he's, we can safely say he's a lock for upset of a year. And we'll see what happens now. What happens now? You know, Oh heyman has got all the belts now with Wilder as well. I believe he's got a the finger in the pie there of Andy Ruiz, but might just go straight to Wilder after Wilder takes care of uh, uh, Luis Ortiz. Uh, a, a sort of a dark macabre side of me kind of wish, wishes that uh, Ortiz upsets uh, Wilder as well. Um, so if we can stop with all this marinating that we have in boxing. But that's it from me. I just thought I'd have, I have to come here and say well done Andy Ruiz. And that's it. So until I see you guys again. Be like Andy Ruiz and keep those gloves up.